Hey guys, we just want to do this quick video, a few things to look for when you're going through that, you know, when they bring it to the dealer. and it, that, Orientation? Yeah, orientation. And you're going to purchase a new RV and you really need to watch this video because it'll save you a lot of headache, a lot of health problems, you know? High blood pressure. Exactly. For the electricity, don't let them fool you into everything's working correctly because 99.9% .9 it's not. And if you're full time and they say they want to keep it for a week, what are you going to do to your house? Where are you going to live, by the way, for a week for a 10 minute fix on the problem? So this is what I do. I went and I bought an electric thingy. I don't know what it's called, but it checks your outlets if they're good or not, okay? And what you do is you go to each outlet. Don't let them hold you back on this, guys. Go to each outlet, plug it in, and then you can see if you're two amber lights, it's really simple to use. That means you're good. That means there's not a bad ground. You know, it, everything's running okay in your rig. Now go to every outlet and do this, and don't skip this step, trust me. Make sure all the slides go out and they're flush by the doorway or the wall. Make sure they're flush, make sure they go out okay. In and out, bring them in and out. Right in front of them, take their time, bring them in and out. Check it, it's really important. Four of five of my slides were way off about an inch. Refrigerator temperature. This just sounds crazy, guys, but if that's not at the right temperature or even close, if it's 20 degrees off, then you're gonna have major problems. There's my gun again. A gun, she's got a gun. Well, <laughs> it's just a uh, little gun. It's like 30 bucks at Harbor Freight. You can actually put it in the refrigerator and take the temperature. Not a big deal, guys. Don't turn it into a big deal. I want you to put the power on and the water connected to the place that you purchase it from, okay? There, it tells you the temperature, well that's in Celsius. So we're, we know we're good, okay? My temperature's good. We usually like it around 35 to three. Three on the freezer and 35 in the refrigerator. Usually maybe two on a freezer. If you have a fireplace, turn it on. Turn the heat on. Make sure this works. I know it's a stupid little thing, but if it doesn't work, what are you gonna do? Pull the whole thing out? I mean, you're gonna have to bring it back for a week or a couple days, especially your TVs. Turn your TVs on, that's a big deal. I had a TV that blew up for certain reasons, but turn your TVs on, guys, every TV, and keep them turned on the whole time you're there. Make sure they don't auto shut off by mistake, or just shut off, or any funky things. Turn everything on. Go in your little panels, turn your radios on. Turn everything on. It sounds stupid, but I'm telling you, one problem is a big deal later on. Your air conditioners, turn them on, run them. Run them on, if they have heat, a heat pump, run them. If they have furnace, run it. Um, if your furnace, if you have an AC, run it. Mine actually didn't even have the display because one of my fuse panels was out, uh, a fuse was out, and I thought it was a problem with AC. There wasn't, luckily, but um, if you have a problem with AC, it could be a big deal, too. Turn your ACs on and run them. Run them for a half a day. I don't care what they say. Run them. Check all your rocker switches. Make sure everything's working, okay, guys? Just check everything. Be anal. It's worth it. Check your slide switches. Make sure nothing's stick. Stick and make sure no wires are crossed. Roller blinds. Pull them up and down. It sounds stupid, but these things are expensive. Make sure they're working. Pull them up and down. Make sure they go all the way up. Sounds crazy, but most people don't know how to roll those up. You can actually re-roll those, take them down, and they work. But most of the time, companies will just send you a new one. I don't know why. Just cost the manufacturer more money. Those can be adjusted. You can roll them up and down, but make sure they work. Half of mine on our RV didn't go up all the way, so it wasn't a big deal. I re-rolled a couple and it was good. But check them. Check your windows. Pull your windows out. Check them. Make sure you check for leaks. When we first got this one, we had leaks all over the counter. We had a flood the first night, so check for leaks. Check for previous water damage. We had water damage in the hallway where there was some kind of water got in or whatever, and we had to replace the trim. So brand new. it was a brand new RV. And your fans. Check your fans, make sure they open all the way up. Ours does. Thumbs up on that one. If you have a switchboard like this or similar, check your tanks, okay? Check your black tanks, check your gray tanks, make sure you're getting a proper reading. If okay? 75 gallons, make sure that it's And if, if, you're, if your fresh water tank is 75 gallons, which is huge, or whatnot, it might not read until you fill that halfway up. Trust me. It won't read until you fill it like a quarter to halfway up. I don't know why, but you gotta fill it up. Fill it up all the way until it's overflowing the first time to see where you're at. But check it, because if they cross the sensors on the tanks, the whole underbelly's gotta be redone, opened up, it's a big deal. Check your landing feet. Make sure all your landing feet go up and down properly. Make sure you check your exterior. Make sure you don't have any cracks right in here. Make sure you don't have any rips, scratches, dents, chips. Check it out, guys. It's brand new, for crying out loud. Bring a spray bottle with you. Check your tanks. Make sure nothing's leaking. Spray all your fittings on your propane. And please, for crying out loud, get an RV with propane. 
all electric buses, RVs, fifth wheels. I don't believe in them. What are you going to do if something happens? The economy collapses or you're just out of power or the park loses power. What are you going to do? Plug into a tree? Or I take that back. If you have solar panels, I guess you can go that route too. Or a generator. Hey, get one of these handy lights. They work pretty good. Make sure all your valves work. Turn them upside down. Turn them inside out. Make sure they work. Test this. Test the cable. Everything. Ah, I wouldn't worry about the soap. That's not a real big deal. Usually in motor homes, there's an access panel for your water. Take it off. Take the door off. It's only two little screws. Come on, guys. Take it off. Get your hands all around these little fittings. Make sure you tighten them up. Snug them up. All these little fittings in there you want to snug up with your hand. Get your hands and eyeballs on these fittings. It's worth it. If, you're not, if you have an inverter for anything, turn it on. Make sure it works. Make sure all your electrical works. Everything. Check for cracks, splits, rips, tears, anything. Check. Make sure your doors are lined up and shut properly. Guys, another thing is get up on your roof and check it. Make sure there's no rips. Make sure all the sealant's in the right place. Even if you don't know much about RVing or RVs, you will know something's funny and ask the salesman. Say, hey, look, can you check this out for me? And if you have an RV with an engine, a motorhome, check the engine, check the oil, check everything. Make sure it has oil in it. Make sure it doesn't tick, knock, smoke. It's brand new, I know, but things happen. It's just break the break-in period, okay? Check everything. Drive it for vibrations. That's huge, too. Now, on a, a, tra uh, a fifth wheel like this or travel trailer, it's hard to actually drive it around because, you know, that's kind of... I think that's kind of pushing the limit. You, you don't have to drive it around. Usually the axles are all brand new. Check the air in the tires. Make sure you have at least good years on your RV. Goodyear tires are really good. Make sure they're G-rated. G-rated. Unless it's a really light RV, then you don't need to. But on anything heavy like this or anything, check if they're G-rated. Make sure they're decent tires. Get the Chinese crap off it and put good years or put something Michelin or put something decent on it, okay? Guys, check for leaks on your Onyx. Check for tears, rips, anything. Check them. Get up there with a ladder and check them. Make sure all your guides, slides, everything's working okay. Check your hot water heater. Open it up. Don't be afraid of this. There's nothing in here that's going to bite you. Oh, look at this. Look, I opened it up. See? Red cap was missing. I don't know where this goes, but I'm going to figure it out. Check your sewer hose drawer. Make sure it works. I'm just kidding, guys. Don't trust a salesman. As soon as they get your check, they're happy, and you hear no more from them, okay? Don't do it. Do it yourself. Get your hands and your eyeballs on the unit. Check your carpeting. Make sure it's not lifting up. Mine had a big lump in it, so I had to take it all, all redo it all, and stretch it. Now, they do not stretch these carpets by factory. If you have carpeting, they don't pull it tight. Trust me. Almost every RV, I can find a loose spot. Ours was right where we were walking. It's okay. Not a big deal. I took this up, restapled it down, pulled it, restapled it, it was fine, okay? Not a big deal. But check that little stuff because, I mean, cosmetically, you bought a brand new RV. You want it to be brand new, at least for a couple weeks, right? Check your floors. Make sure they don't squeak. Keep walking back and forth on them. And if you guys think we're anal about this, then I think you're crazy because we've been through it. Trust me, we're trying to save you the headache. Check, 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 and then double check. It should take about how many hours? Six to eight hours. So you tell that dealer you'll be there all day with your fine toothpick. Is that you what have they say? to because they were getting annoyed with us and we didn't get to check everything because they were rushing us out of there and then we ended up big, big problems. Don't sign for the RV until you do your complete checklist and notify them a day before you're going to do this. Don't give them their check either. Well, you know, not everybody has a check. So even if you have to sign for a loan, don't sign for that loan until you check it out. Because as soon as we gave them their money, they were gone. That was it. That's it. They were we gone. We were on our own. We were nobodies. I mean, worse than nobodies. Yeah. So. My honey was tired, exhausted, dizzy because he didn't eat anything, and they couldn't even offer him like a bag of chips or right. a bag of nuts. And they're pushing a warranty on you too when you're half asleep because you're tired from somewhat checking the old RV. So but, just be yeah. careful when you go. It's a real and upsetting go a, day. Go as a team, yeah. not as one against the other. Go as a team. You're both yeah. attacking the Have the, the same wife, if, if you want to check it out, have the wife distract everybody keep them busy while i'm checking all the good stuff that i mean i wish we could have done that but you know we're in a tight spot we need to get an rv that day we had to no matter if there's little things we had to let it slide i probably wouldn't have done that i would have waited a week and let made them fix every single thing and came back and did the same thing all over again to check 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 your batteries check make sure they're mounted right i mean golly there's, there's so, so much to check out honestly Whatever's important to you in your RV, go and check it out. I mean, there was blemishes on the walls that I had to just say, hey, whatever, we'll deal with it, and Ross fixed them for me. You can't be too picky. If there's a tiny little scratch on the counter, a tiny, I mean, come on. You can't replace the whole counter, Honestly, guys. these, these, 
Um, These things scratch anyways. They're plastic, okay? It's not granite. It's scratching. It's not. Unless you're perfect. buying a super high end rig, but then if you're buying a super high end rig, then you probably have a house to go along with that rig, right? Exactly. <laughs> so you can be too picky, um, but you know, you just warn the people ahead of time. Say you're going to go in, spend six to eight hours there, whether they like it or not. Don't buy the RV if they have a problem with it. Goodbye. I'll go to another dealer. Even if you put a five hundred dollar deposit down, keep my deposit. See ya. Because five hundred dollars is nothing compared to you know All forty right. to hundred hundred grand. So if you love the video that we just did, like us and share us. Like us and share us. You know you'll find us funny.